Hello and welcome to the Cabinet of Doll Curios, where you will find customs of horror, beauty and the perfectly imperfect. Enjoy! As usual, here I start off by removing the factory paint from the doll's head with pure acetone. Next I'm giving it quite a generous coat of paint and then I find that if I um, wet the brush and then go over the paint that I've done it gives a lot more of a smoother finish when it dries and I do the same to the body as well. In case you don't know about Graveyard Girl, um, she's an American YouTuber who gained fame with her YouTube channel, Graveyard Girl. Uh, the channel began with a bunny talking about her experiences with paranormal, supernatural and often took trips to graveyards. And then she later created a series where she tests products which are advertised on TV called Do These Things Really Work? And she also is involved with beauty and fashion. Her channel has over 8 million followers, so go and check her out. Uh, she's just really personable, funny. If you're on a bad day, her energy, her spirit, it, she's just so lovely. And as Graveyard Girl is always smiling, I wanted to give her a bit more of a toothy smile here. So I'm just cutting off the bottom lip, giving it a bit of a sand, gluing it back on, and then using clay to just smooth over and make the skin all smooth again. The idea of painting this was going to be for a belt, but because I wanted it quite a low ride belt, it didn't fit, so I ended up using it as a choker. And Graveyard Girl wouldn't be complete with the old Swamp family shoes, so I used these crocodile shoes which were like made for this project, so I really enjoyed painting these. I really love doing paint washes, which is basically paint watered down. It really gives a 3D effect. Whilst the paint was drying, I got on with body blushing and face blushing. I used pan pastels for this, I find they're the best, personally, as the colour's really pigmented and you don't actually need a lot. Here's the hair that I'm using. Look at that shine. I'm just making wefts. Mm -hmm. 
Graveyard Girl is into the 90s in quite a big way and she likes to wear oversized tops so uh, uh, with holes in so I thought I'd just try and make a, a bit of a 90s vibe oversized vest top here for her and I'm just using normal acrylic paints and a teeny tiny brush She also does this thing called Sippy Sippy, so here I am just doing a bit of iced tea and making a, a miniature flask with a straw. I'm basically mixing paint with clear glue. I wanted to do some ice cubes and I thought the best way was to basically do a blob of hot glue, let it dry and then cut it into ice cube shapes. Graveyard Girl has quite a few intricate tattoos. Um, I'm starting with her latest one here. Um, it's quite difficult doing something this small with such detail, but I, I think it looks okay. I'm just doing the tattoo for the wrist, which is a chest piece. And then doing the real horror show from Clockwork Orange. A 
and now it's time for the face up. I mostly use Derwent Ink Tense watercolour pencils for this as they're very highly pigmented. I know most people would have thought to have done the purple eyeshadow first, but no, no, not me. It would have been a bit easier, um, but I went over it with the pencils again anyway, to give it more definition.
She has quite a few piercings, so I had to make some more holes in the ears with a pin. Oh, please don't mind all the crazy squiggles that just seem to pee all over my wrist and hands throughout this video. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you will know that that's quite a common occurrence. I, I do wash, I do wash my hands, I can assure you of that, just in case you were wondering. It's just that I normally have quite a few projects on the go at once and I sort of flitter between one and then the other. The paint is always dry so it doesn't come off on the um, other dolls. Hi, uh, so sorry to uh, interrupt, just a quick one, please just pause this video, like and subscribe, thank you so much, see you in a bit. I'm just drilling a hole into the base ready to secure the figure onto the plinth. This is American walnut plinth by the way, it's lovely. I didn't show the making of the jewellery, basically just a skull um, attached onto a chain. She likes skulls and dolls and graveyards and paranormal. Graveyard Girl also does a lot of unboxing so I thought as, as the accessories or the props if you, if you will would be a lot of boxes with clothes just spilling out all over the place. And after I folded one of the boxes quite neat, I'm then ripping and tearing into it as though you would if you'd have had the box yourself, opening it and ripping all the paper off. And here's a finished graveyard girl. Thank you so much for watching. 
please subscribe as there are a lot more things coming up on this channel soon. Thank you. Bye.